we are here with international model turned actress Joy Corrigan. Thank you so much for sitting down with us today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So I would love to get started um, talking about your modeling career. You've modeled in some major brands from Guest to Roberto Cavalli. Growing up in a small town in North Carolina, was it always your dream to become a model and did you expect to make it this far? So yes, it's always been a dream, but no, I had no idea. I actually grew up right outside of Raleigh, North Carolina, and I have six brothers and three sisters. So I have a huge family. We grew up on a farm and we were homeschooled and I had no idea what the real world was like. And so I dreamed really big. And when I finally moved out, I just kind of pursued those dreams and it was really hard, but I think with the support of my family and kind of not wanting to have to go back to powdered milk and um, <laughs> being poor made me work really hard. That's amazing. That's really cool. And on top of that, you've also appeared in some iconic magazines, including GQ Italia and Sports Illustrated. So what were those experiences like? Oh, amazing. I think one of my favorite shoots actually that I didn't even, that you didn't mention is I shot on a horseback in Colombia, wow. and that was probably the most challenging shoot, but also the fact that I grew up on horses made it super easy. Oh, that's but, cool. Um, that was for Galore magazine, and it was so fun. Cowboy hats and nothing else, just the horses. Oh, but yes, girl, that's amazing. <laughs> One of my favorite shoots for sure. That's so fun. And so you are becoming a well-known name in the acting world now. So what made you want to transition from modeling to acting? So I love modeling, but I feel like with acting, there's just so much you can do, so much more you can do. It's way more challenging. There's a lot more growth. So since I've been doing it and taking classes and starting and doing a few roles here and there, um, I just feel like there's just so much room for like growing and learning and being a different character, which is so fun for me. Right. I love to get to be someone else for the day, for the week, um, whatever role it is. It's so cool. That's awesome. And have you been taking acting classes and stuff as well? Yeah, I'm actually right now in three acting classes and it's kind of easy because now everything's on Zoom. Well, I wouldn't say easy, but <laughs> less travel time. So I just... I'm loading up on the classes while I'm at home. I'm designing and basically doing classes on my time off. That's awesome. And do you have a dream role that you would love to play? Ooh, I would love to play um, in a movie where I can be a superhero. Okay. I, I, I did um, a lot of karate growing up and always was fighting with my brothers. So I feel like I could bring those Punches. Bring those punches. Oh, that's awesome. That's hilarious. You're already trained. You don't even need training for that. <laughs> yeah, that would be so fun. I, I dream. <laughs> yeah, I love that. And speaking of your acting, you've done quite a few films with Bruce Willis. So I know everyone would love to know what was it like working with him? Okay, so Bruce Willis is actually so talented. He shows up on set. He gets the job done like that. You know, a lot of us, it takes many, many takes. And I just watched as he worked as a pro and he got it in such a few amount of takes where I was like wow he he just knows what he's doing he has this presence when he works and everyone respects that and I I was like one day I, I love that and what is one thing you think you've learned from him being on set with him I think when you work really hard your dreams can come true and I think you know that for him he's worked many years really hard at it it doesn't just happen overnight and so I'm working really hard you know, with the classes, with just researching every character I am and just being that person. And I think that's what happens is if you work hard, dreams can come true. I love that. That's, and that's so true. That's absolutely true. I also know you have a deep love for animals and you and your sister created a line called Naked Species where 10% of the proceeds go to the Wild Tomorrow Fund committed to ending the extinction of endangered species. So can you tell us about the vision behind the brand and why it is so important to you to incorporate your love for animals? with? It? Okay, so I wanted to do something different for the animals. I grew up on a farm. I love animals. And it's always been a passion of mine and being in the fashion world, I kind of have the under like the scoop on what's going to be in what's hot. And I love dressing up. And so I had some ideas to make this line and my sister, she does the business side of it. I'm the creative director. I make all the designs okay. and I really wanted to make sure that it did something good and gave to a charity that's really 
working in the field, making amazing things happen. And that's why I chose Wild Tomorrow Fun. With Naked Species, I came up with a name and I thought I want to do something that really features a lot of unisex pieces because I love wearing um, my boyfriend's sweatpants. So a lot of the sweatpants, hoodies, t-shirts can be guys or girls. And I thought, I don't see that very much. I really wish they had more of that. So that's one thing I really wanted to focus on and then being comfortable and standing out in some really cool design. So it's like streetwear for guys and girls. A lot of, we're coming out with some face masks. We're coming out with oh, swimsuits fun. kind of across the board. Amazing. And do you have any examples of like your items? Yep. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay, so here are two of our, our best sellers right now. So this right here is so two rhinos procreating and the, it's kind of edgy, it's cool, it's cropped. Um, this one is more for the girls, but they come in full size for the guys. Well, I love it, that is so cute. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's kind of edgy, but the message behind it is what matters. Absolutely, 100%, yeah. And then here's another, this is our um, reflective windbreaker. These parts Very right cute. here are reflective, and it's unisex, it has a uh, naked species on the back. Very cool. Really comfy. It's great for when it's raining or if you want to go for a jog or if you just want to be like comfy around the house. So this is one of that my favorites. Cute. That totally is like the boyfriend sweater vibe, even though it's a jacket. <laughs> yeah. No, I love this one. And it's That's a bright color, so it stands out. Absolutely. And so where can we get all these items? Where can we purchase so these species? You can go to nakedspecies.com and everything's on there. And I'm constantly updating with new products and new launches. So Stay tuned for that. I can't Absolutely. wait to Absolutely. Amazing. <laughs> Sounds good. And what advice do you have for those who want a career in modeling or acting? I would say don't give up. I mean, in the beginning, a lot of people would tell me, you know, that's kind of a hard career. Don't do it. Or there's no way you can make it. You're too short. You're too this. You're too that. And I'm 5'8". And, you know, I'm like, oh, really? Well, I'm going to try. And it was hard. And a lot of agencies said no at the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, but I just kept at it. And I didn't give up. And there's so many days I wanted to just roll back in bed and say, you know what? I guess this isn't for me. You have to get um, tough skin and be okay with rejection over and over again. Absolutely. And I think that's what I've gotten good at. And just staying true to yourself. I love that. And I know for a lot of people, it's even the initial, like, how do you get your foot in the door? So like, how do you do that? Do you go to an agency? Do you send your pictures somewhere? What I did is um, I went to open calls at agencies in the beginning and I, I happened to be scouted by an agent and they were excited to work with me and they gave me a chance. But I would say just take some really cool pictures and send them to agencies and see what, um, you know, see what happens. But That's awesome. Don't pick yeah. up. If Absolutely. You, you can, it can happen. Nowadays, I think anyone can be a model. It's just about selling the clothes. And more than ever, body image is all about diversity. So I think if you really want to do it and you really love it, then go for it. You can make it happen. I love that. Um, and so what projects do you have coming up in the near future? So I am launching some face masks, which okay. I'm really excited about, Naked Species face masks, so um, that's su super exciting, and I also have some roles coming up that I can't really talk about, but I'm really excited about, so I guess just stay tuned and check out my Instagram, I'm constantly posting updates, and uh -huh. I'm also, um, yeah. And when is the launch for the face masks coming? So there's no official date, but it's going to be like about two weeks out. Okay, perfect. So, we'll definitely yeah. have an out for that. <laughs> Keep back in that. I know that you love cooking. So what are some of your favorite things to make? Oh, oh my gosh. I'm in my kitchen. That's so <laughs> No, I, so some of my favorite things are, uh, I love making salads because they're super healthy and I get so bored of salads from restaurants. So I'll add tons of different veggies, pretty much everything you think of from olives, tomatoes, cucumbers, pepperoncinis, um, across the board. And then I, I love making a uh, gluten-free pasta. So, okay. yeah. yeah, it's super healthy, but it's still filling. I'll use zucchini noodles, um, low carb. Then I'll add a lot of cheese and a lot of tomato sauce. And I'll actually add whole tomatoes and like roast it all together. Mm. And then I'll top it off with some truffle olive oil. And that's oh, I love truffle everything. <laughs> I love that. 
Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So well, how we end the interviews is with, with a few random questions. What are three of your favorite skincare products? Okay. I love Innisfree um, Glow Serum. I don't, I can't, don't really remember what it's called, but Innisfree has some really good products and they have some good creams. I always use those. Um, and I also love a CE Frulic Acid by um, SkinCeuticals. Okay. Every day. And I always put on a sunblock because I'm trying to protect my skin. So that would be something I always put on every day. Amazing. And what is your favorite yoga pose? I know you like yoga. So what is, do you have a favorite? I like to challenge myself. So I would say back bends are actually really challenging for me. And so I love doing those and then trying to put my leg up. So I'll go back and then put my leg up and try to stretch that way for as long as I can. I feel like that one's really good for just recentering and stretching and then also it's really hard so I've been working on that move recently <laughs> that's cool and um who was your childhood celebrity crush say Angelina Jolie yes girl. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. that's so good well thank you so much for sitting with us Joy we can't wait to see your future endeavors oh thanks so much for having me see you later <laughs>